Hello, I just wanted to welcome you to Geography 1010. This is a 16-week online class. Um, I've taught this a lot of times to a lot of folks, so this is really pretty straightforward. This is a class that is based on the book, um, the textbook. Um, if you're in a, an NSU section, regular section, you've got access to the textbook through uh, the e as an ebook. If you're in one of my high school sections, you have access to the textbook through your own means. They don't have it as an ebook. So you just have to make sure you secure the textbook because everything comes from the textbook. Um, the current edition is what I'm using. An older edition in hardcover, if that's all you can find, can work as well. But fundamentally, this is a class that is based around the book. Uh, in terms of the structure of this class, it's pretty straightforward. I've actually got it on the um, little intro welcome that I've got posted up there for you. Um, it's a pretty straightforward class. Again, it's based around the book. So you'll be reading chapters in the book. Um, I post up some PowerPoints um, from the publisher of the book, but really that, that's just a study aid. But really this is based around the textbook itself. So make sure you have access to the book. Um, in terms of the way this class runs, there is a, it's basically forums and then tests. That's all there really are. 10 forums and five tests. And the structure is this. Uh, week one, you'll have a forum. Week two, you'll have a forum. And then the third week of the unit, you'll have your test. You'll have the whole week to post your forum response. Um, if you And the forum's response is due on Saturday at 6 p.m. After that point, you can still post. Uh, I want to make that real clear. You can still post, but points will come off for lateness. Um, so that's your forums. They're due at 6 p.m. on Saturdays. They don't close, so you can still post, but it, it will be late, considered late. So points may well come off and actually will come off. And then your tests, and everything opens on Mondays. Mondays is the day everything opens in this class. So Monday, your forum will open, and you'll have until Saturday to submit. You don't have to do any replies to anyone. This isn't set up that way. It's simply your forum response is what I'm looking for. So, and then on test week, the test will also open on Monday. Now, they actually close at 6 p.m. on Saturday, um, and they close. So you have until Saturday at 6 p.m. to take the test. We'll talk about the tests in just a second, but that's the timing of them. Now what's going to happen is I don't reopen them during the semester until the end of the semester. And at the end of the semester, I reopen them for makeups. Now, just as points come off on the forums, points will also come off of your tests. I want you to do these things on time. I want to proceed and do these things on time. So for your makeups of your tests, when they open, you've got to keep be mindful of this because I'll tell you that they're open. But what has to happen is you need to take it during that makeup period, which is a week, uh, really about the last week of class, I think it's going to be. Um, and you can take the test. But again, points are going to come off. Uh, a few points will come off um, from from uh, your test because I want you to do these things on time. It's only fair to those who actually play by the rules. So if you're, and you've got an entire week, you've got a hundred and some hours. If you can't find 50 minutes to take a test in a hundred and some hours, um, then that's, that's not fair to those who actually do take the time. So that's the way the forums and tests and the weeks will go by. Um, there's no cumulative, cumulative exam or anything like that. It's, it's just straightforward forum, forum, test. And then we start the next unit, forum, forum, test. And these are separate chapters. 
Uh, in terms of other aspects of the class, um, if you email me uh, to contact me, I'll respond pretty quickly. I check the, my email pretty significantly. I've opened up a study hall. If you have a generalized question that maybe other people might be interested in, that's there. But fundamentally, I don't see y'all using that much in, in, in all these years. I still have it there. Um, what else did I want to mention? In terms of the test, going back to the test. Oh, and let's start with the forums. In terms of the forums, um, they've got to be substantive and sourced. So you need a source at the minimum, and it says this in there. You have to have a minimum of the textbook, but anything else that you find, you need to refer to it and source your forums. It needs to be substantive. Now that's subjective on my end. I'm not going to tell you what makes it substantive, but I can tell you that two or three sentences is not going to work. Points will come off, even if it's on time. It's got to be substantive and it's got to have sourcing to it. That's my rules on these. And if you don't follow those rules, points will be deducted. Um, in terms of the tests themselves, this is, as I've said, a textbook generating class. So. What you need to keep in mind is that in the textbook, I do not pull out some factoid, some little nugget from the test, from the book, and put it on the test. You should read the textbook, read the chapters for each week, read the chapter, um, review it um, as we go forward, study it closely um, so you're familiar with the chapter. And then, as you get closer to the test time, concentrate a little bit on the bold-faced words and the italicized concepts that are in the textbook. Those are your key concepts that are testable, easily testable. I don't know how else to say this without giving too much away, but as you go forward with the textbook, you'll see that there are a lot of um, bold-faced words and um, italicized concepts, those form the basic structure of the test. I don't know how else to get that across to you, but that's what you should concentrate on. In terms of the tests themselves, you'll have 50 minutes to take the test. You should take the test when we get there on test one in our third week. You should take it from a solid connection, not um, a phone or anything like that. Wi-Fi generally will work okay. I'm using Wi-Fi right now to do this, but sometimes um, satellite, I've, I've seen satellite to have a problem. Uh, so make sure you've got a solid connection before you open the test to take it. Um, so, you know, really that's the structure of this class. It's 16 weeks. Um, really 15 weeks and then the week of the final. The last week of class we should have our final so we should be wrapping up that last week of class if everything goes according to plan. So um, this is again a pretty straightforward class. There's no projects, there's no outside work, there's no extra credit as that stated in the syllabus that I've posted up for you. There's just um, this is pretty straightforward kind of class that I've got set up for you. And I've been running this for a long time. The high school students, your class is exactly like the NSU straight up class. Um, only difference really is the access to the textbook. As far as I know, you still don't have it as an ebook. But fundamentally, this is how this class is going to work. Um, so, Unless, if you have any questions, email me. Um, my contact there is there on the um, Moodle page. And otherwise, uh, if I don't hear from you, let's just get started.